when you look at who's the favourite to win the NBA championship by betting odds, it will go in order of Celtics, Warriors, Bucks, Clippers, Suns, Lakers, Heat, Sixers, Nets. At ninth is the Denver Nuggets. Realistically, the Denver Nuggets might be the strongest team in the West. In my unbiased opinion, that the Nuggets are up there with the Bucks and the Warriors as, as the top of the entire league to win the championship, and it's not even close. It might be a bit of a stretch, but either way, they're getting slept on too hard. For starters, when you look at their last playoff performances, they've either lost to the team who actually won the championship or lost to the team who made it to the finals in each of the last three years. Now, despite losing their second best player from last season, Monte Morris, the GOAT, as well as Will Barton, the Brick Lord, they've actually gotten much better if you look at their roster on paper. The biggest weakness of the team even without having Jamal and MPJ, is always three-point shooting and perimeter defense. Now, Monte, as good as he was as a shot creator, he's a god-awful defender, and Will Barton just did absolutely nothing. So they lose those two players in exchange for KCP, who covers both of the, the weakest aspects of the game, and he's obviously going to work well against Jokic. And they also get free agent like Bruce Brown, who's one of the best cutters and hustle players in the league along with the additions of the the rookies who might not make too much of an impact at the moment and DeAndre Jordan who's going to take over for DeMarcus Cousins which really is just 12 minutes a game of center play that he, he probably might get dropped after a few weeks anyway so it's not that big a deal but the move to get rid of their current starters for players that actually fit the team better on top of that, you're adding on Jamal and MPJ, assuming they're both healthy. And it's looking like the team that made the conference finals a few years ago and only lost to the Lakers. But Jokic has evolved as a player since then, he's going to be even better. If you're looking at who their competition is in the West, you really just... It's most likely just going to be the Clippers and the Warriors. There's obviously teams like the Mavericks, Lakers, Grizzlies, even someone like the Pelicans that, that pose a threat, but they're just not as... Not on the same level as, as um, Clippers and Warriors. A fully healthy Clippers team could be a challenge, but you just you got to remember who beat them in the playoffs. The only other time they were healthy with PG and Kawhi. You're really just looking at a team that's already certified itself as the top team in the West. They're bringing back the second and third best player of the season, assuming they both look like they're healthy. And they've fixed their weaknesses and just upgraded the team um, in terms of role players. It just... You can just compare the potential starting lineup um, compared to the last season. Last season they had Monte at the point, then Barton, Aaron Gordon. Often it was Jeff Green and then Jokic. That was that was their starting five. And then this season, this season most likely is going to be a starting five of Jamal, Jamal Murray, KCP, MPJ, Aaron Gordon, and then Jokic. It's it's that's a lineup that's going to hold their own defensively and obviously offensively as well. It's there's still players like Bruce Pereira, Jeff Green, Bones Highland, Zeke Naji coming off the bench. They've still got a solid backup rotation as well. The way they match up against the other top teams in the league, it still looks like it's a fair game for anybody. I think, realistically, the Nuggets are just up there with some of the top teams. I mean, compare them against last season's champions, the Warriors. We saw in the playoffs, they, they can't defend Jokic. Draymond, and like, honestly, Looney put up a good contention against them, but Draymond has nothing on them. They can't defend Jokic and then we're just putting more cutters and shooters along Jokic. It's just the offense is actually going to be clicking this time if they if they um, meet again in the playoffs. And then defensively, the top perimeter defenders on the team last season against like matched up against Curry was someone like Austin Rivers or because he wasn't doing much in offense it was usually Monte Morrison and he was you know he, he couldn't keep up. Now Jamal's not a very Jamal's not a great defender, but we've still got Bruce Brown, KCP, a better perimeter defenders than anyone on the team last season. And yeah, considering it's a team that's never made the finals in their entire franchise, it's not it's obviously not a safe bet to assume they're gonna make the finals, but I, I still think it's it's on par with at least the teams in the West. And with the betting odds that they're sitting there, you you know I put a I put a decent amount on there just just in case. If you have a player like Jokic, who's one of the well, he is one, one of the best players in the league. A player like Jamal Murray, who's All-Star caliber. I have full confidence it's going to come back at All-Star caliber. 
MPJ is going to play better than he did to start last season because he was playing through injury. Bones Highland is coming off the... He had a good second half of last season. I think he's going to come back looking stronger. This is a team that's coming from being the pretty much the worst team in the league when Jokic isn't on the court. And now they're looking like they've got one of the best starting fives in the league. And they were still a sixth seed last season and put up a fight against the Warriors in the first round. You have to remember that three of those games, three of the losses that they had were still very close. From looking at the team, the, the only weakness it looks like they have at the moment is just the backup center. That's, that's only a player who's going to get about 12 minutes every game regardless. So so besides the backup center position, I don't, I can't see anything else that they're really lacking. And the, the defense is still a worry with MPJ and Jamal um, kind of being a question on that end of the court. But their, their defense, it, it still looks, with the players they picked up, the defense still looks like it's going to be the best it has been in, in a long time, honestly. But... Yeah, anyway, I'm pretty much only making this just to say I told you so once they actually win. And uh, yeah, that's about it.